circumstances. But there, this is speaking, powerful speaking, of the Jews clean, clothed mindedness of the whole covenant. He said that their minds were hardened. But to this day, when they read the old covenant, that same veil remains unlifted because only through Christ is it taken away. Yes, to this day, never Moses is created a veil. Somebody say veil. Yeah. Lies over their mind. But when a man turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. Mm -hmm. Now the Lord is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Are you ever being this prayer? God, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. The freedom that comes in the Spirit. Yes. Lord, we yield to your Spirit now, Lord. We yield our agendas. We yield our thoughts. We yield our ways. We pray that you take control of your house. Take control of your servant. Take control of your message. And fill us with the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, let none leave like they came in. Let us all leave and receive the word that will not come back to you, Lord. This is our prayer in the name of every name. My name, Master's name, the Lord Jesus, we break God's people said. Amen. Thank God for your name, Thank God for your name. Remember, there is a word from the Lord. And the word of the Lord, neighbor. And the word of the Lord, neighbor. This morning. This morning. Is the man of God. Is the man of God. With freedom, with freedom, even in his limitation. Even in his limitation. Amen. Shake your neighbor's Amen. hand and then turn to another side and say, Thank God you're here, neighbor. Thank God you're here. Tell the neighbor, God is in the blessing business. There is a word from the Lord. There is a word from the Lord. The word of the Lord this morning, neighbor. The word of the Lord this morning, neighbor. Is the man of God. The man of God. With freedom. With freedom. Even in his limitation. Man of God, this is like a, this is Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I made out my hand singing. Yeah, I saw that Mr. Dan singing. I heard that the young man would be. I've been training for a rematch. Wagging his tail because he was happy that he had a good time. 
my man told his wife, I can't take it anymore. I'm going back to bed because I never should have got out of bed. <laughs> Seemed like everywhere he turned, things were messed up. So overwhelmed and discouraged, he went into retreat mode. How many of y'all ever had a day like that? It seemed like everything was going on. To be a black man, oftentimes, is to have that feeling very often. To be a black man in America, a lot of other places. I know this intellectually and from experience. To be a black man often means to have a role and responsibility without all the tools necessary to complete the job. It's easy for a black man to see so many limitations and He's not looking for someone to point them out to him. But historically, we've had a lot of limitations. Many of our ancestors in Africa were captured in war and sold to enslavers. Uh, enslavement was the height of limitation. No freedom of motion, no freedom of uh, speech, no freedom of thought, no freedom of anything. And after enslavement ended, re-enslavement began. His story wrote a book called Slavery by Another Man. And in this book, uh, this man he goes on to show how shortly after uh, 1865, they began to enact laws which re enslaved the uh, black population. And in addition to this, uh, part of this was uh, the theft of black land, uh, part of this was shared property tenant farming, they farm land and rented the materials, but they always seem to owe the owner of the land. Uh, in addition to this was the white terrorism of the Ku Klux Klan and things like the White Citizens Council. But by the grace of God, we always struggle against our limitations. Yeah. And uh, that struggle has placed us here today. Even today, when we look at the political, cultural, and economic landscape, we see how limited it is for black people, and therefore for black men. I did not watch the debates the other night because I believe it's theater. And if you are theater, you ought to watch something that you like. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, many politicians lie very easily. And uh, I've learned that politicians can lie as easily as they can breathe. Yeah. But I did read the reviews of the debates, and I know from reading about the debates that there was no discussion of reparations. There was no discussion of police brutality, and all these policemen killing children, killing men sitting in cars, killing men laying on the ground with their hands up. There was no issue of gentrification in almost every major city in the country. In other words, while everyone else's issue is addressed, while everyone else has a parade, the issues of black people who are most loyal to the Democratic Party were not addressed in the Democratic debate. Just because you talk, challenge someone on the civil rights record, and just because that's all of that's theater, all of that's games. Okay? If you don't if you don't talk about an issue, you're not representing our concern. And as important as we are to the Democratic Party, we cannot get our issue in a major debate by over 20 presidential candidates. Well, here comes the word of God to suggest that the man of God has freedom even in the midst of all of his limitations. What you say, Tell that's right, I'll say it. You have freedom as a man of God even in the midst of all your limitations. This name is not magic, but it is power. You see, first of all, if you are Christian, you have to have the Holy Spirit. How many people in here are saved? How many people have a relationship with the Lord? If you are saved, you have the Holy Spirit. But then it's not enough to just have the Holy Spirit. You have to be filled with the Holy Spirit. It's one thing to have uh, uh, one-tenth of your rent. where you 
your spirit led. And this is the greatest thing in the world is when the spirit leads you. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, are you spirit led? <laughs> Look, you better smile like because you're asking the tough question. Look on the other side, smile now and say, neighbor, I'm, I'm not trying to insult you. I'm getting your business. <laughs> and in fact, I'm just doing it because the pastor told me to say this. But are you spirit led? Although you face limitations all around you. Come on now. Everybody know what I said? Yes. If you wait for the day when nothing will ever go wrong, that's the day you'll be in heaven. Uh -huh. Now here on this earth, if it ain't one thing, it's something else. But the leading of the Holy Spirit gives you freedom to face all of the limitations all around you. Come on now. Yeah. Even when God blesses you with the blessing, and, and the devil will attack you. And so you need to get this point right here. When God moves, God moves you past your limitation. But it won't always be in the way that you expect. That's right. Come on. That's right. Everybody's right. Come on. I said when God moves, God will move you through your limitation. Past your limitation. Around your limitation. Under your limitation. Over your limitation. But it will not always be in the way you expect. Jesus told Nicodemus that the wind goes where it will. You don't know where it comes from, and you don't know where it's going. So it is that everyone is born of the Holy Spirit. You don't know how God is going to send you into a certain direction. You don't know where God is going to take you. If you ask God to work it out, you don't know how God is going to work it out. You just know that He will work it out. I want everybody to go home. Especially men, I want you to go home because the man of God is always attacked. And I want you to read Acts 16. Everybody say Acts 16. Acts 16. This is one of the greatest chapters in the Bible. Go home and read it. Uh, read the whole thing. Read Acts 16. Uh, in the early verses, the Spirit of God did not allow them to go to Asia. Mm -hmm. That's all it says. It doesn't give a big description. It doesn't talk about how or why. It just says the Spirit did not allow them to go to Asia. Then, a few verses down, he said, Then they attempted to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow it. Now, you might wonder, well, how did the Spirit tell them? It doesn't say. It just said they wanted to go to Asia, couldn't go. So they said, we'll go to Bithynia, they couldn't go. And it said, the Spirit of Jesus, which is the Holy Spirit, did not allow it. Then, Paul has a vision. And somebody is in the state of Philippi, a man from the uh, state of Macedonia, rather. A man from Macedonia saying to Paul, come over here and help us. And the Bible said Paul concluded, somebody said concluded. concluded. Paul concluded from his vision that the Lord was telling him to go to Macedonia. Could go to Asia. Couldn't go to Bithynia because God wanted him in Philippi. And don't you know, God had some things from Paul to learn and give in the spirit and give to the church in Philippi. For it was from Philippi that he wrote, for to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. It was from Philippi, he wrote, it is God that started the good work in you and will finish it on the day of Jesus Christ. It was from Philippi that he wrote, and being found in fashion as a man, he, being Jesus, humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and has given him a name that is above every name. Yes. And at the name of Jesus, yes. every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. It was in Philippi that Paul wrote, Brethren, I have not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the mark for the pride of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. It was in Philippi that Paul said, have no anxiety about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and 
and the peace of God. Oh, this ought to deal with somebody right now. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. It was in Philippi that Paul said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Come on. I'm saying, I'm saying that if you are led by the Spirit, you will find that your limitations are only the channels
here, we not in jail, but we still in and in a prison. Okay, I'm glad to talk. You be in a prison in your own mind. You be in a prison in your own heart. Your attitudes can have you locked up in prison. Your unforgiveness can have you locked up in prison. Somebody hurt you and you just cannot get over it. You still in prison. Oh, can I go ahead and preach? Look at somebody and say, are you in the end of prison today? They weren't extremely dangerous men. They had so offended people by standing up for Jesus, they were put not only in the regular jail, they were put inside of the jail in a room with socks and locked down in bars. But the Bible said at midnight, they were praying and singing hymns to God. Listen, let me tell you, you will never start praising God if you don't ever talk to God. And that's why the Bible said they started praying first, because if you talk to God, you'll come to love God more. If you talk to God, you'll realize the only reason you got out of the mess you was in was because of the goodness and mercy of God. If you talk to God, you'll look back and see where God has brought you from, and you'll love God more, and you'll start to sing about God. You'll start to give God praise. But if you don't talk to Him, you won't ever praise Him. Start singing and praising God, and they said to themselves, We've locked up, but the doors can't lock up our spirit. The stocks cannot bind our soul. They said, I'm going to break out in prayer, I'm going to break out in a song. And while they were breaking out in prayer and singing, God broke out with an earthquake. Look at your neighbor, say, Neighbor, do you know how to pray?
trouble out of your trouble, in the midst of your trouble, that's right. the Spirit of God will let you know your God is greater than your trouble. In the annals of Christian history, shortly after the death of Christ, an emperor rose called Nero. Nero was evil, very irresponsible. He said he wanted to use Christians as torches to light up home. So he brought the people in the arena, had oil put on and set them on fire. The history records that while burning to death, they sang praises to God. Now you ain't in the arena with oil all on you lit on fire. What's wrong with you? That you can't give God the praise. If you never learn to praise God in the inner prison, you'll never learn the secret of praise. God, yes. Never learn to pray in the inner prison. You'll never learn the secret of the earthquake. That God has waiting for you. You'll see other people have earthquake and get out. You'll still be like that. Hallelujah. Because you were still on. God told you it's time to break out. Yes, it is. When your spirit led, hallelujah, the spirit will let you know God is bigger than this situation. God is bigger than this sickness. God is bigger than this problem. Your God is able to supply all your needs. All from that from Philippi. Hallelujah. He had been told, don't go here, don't go there. The place that God had for them. God let him see. God supply all your needs according to my riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Yes. God, we just want to say thank you. Thank you. God, we thank you for your word. God, we thank you for your power. God, we thank you for your truth. We pray right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, that if someone here is not saved, you can say that if someone here doesn't have a church home, you would bring them to this church. Yes. This God is our prayer. God, we pray in the name that's above every name. That mighty and that master's name of the Lord Jesus. God's people said, Amen. Amen. If you don't have a church home and you want to join this church, stay at the altar. If you're not saved, you want to be saved, stay at the altar. Everybody else, put your hand together and go to this.